लोगो देख लिए थे ओके आज कैरेक्टर देख अभी कोई आने का है क्या इसमें दीपिका एक सेकेंड इसमें क्या देखेंगे मॉकअप डिजाइन और थ्री भी देख लिए थे ना इसमें थ्री भी देखे थे ना किसमें सर इसी में में देखे थे रो में सर मुझे तो याद नहीं है फिर ओके okay. याद आ जाता अभी एक मिनट अभी बता देता हूँ वन मिनट ये देखे थे नो सर नहीं देखे थे ऐसा नहीं नहीं देखे सर अच्छा सारा को बनाते रहे तो यस yes, सारा को नहीं आप लोग को दिखाने का था उनको जो सो होने का था वो दोनों का काम हुआ उसके अंदर खास सर हां याद आ गया पर हम लोग ये वाला कर रहे थे सर नहीं ये वाला ऐसे था ना वो ऑब्जेक्ट कैनोपीस बोल रहा हूं जी सर ओके चलिए ये देखेंगे हम मॉकअप देखेंगे आज ओके मॉकअप डिजाइंस में कैसा रहता बोले तो एक ब्रांड के लिए जो जो चीजें जरूरत पड़ती ना वो सारे चीजें इसके अंदर क्रिएट होते हैं मतलब कोई भी ब्रांड अगर बन रहा तो उससे पहले उसके लिए क्या क्या चीज़ें चाहिए ओके वो सारे डिज़ाइंस में इंक्लूड करते हैं लोग जैसे कि कैरी बैग है टी शर्ट है अभी आप शॉपिंग मॉल्स में जाओ जे वी जी वी के आपने उसमें शॉप स्टॉप्स बोल के एक है ओके अगर शॉप स्टॉप्स के एम्प्लॉय को देखेंगे या तो बिग बाजार के एम्प्लॉय को देखेंगे तो वो लोग का एक ड्रेस सेटअप रहता कलर रहता वो लोग का बिग बाजार ओके एम्प्लॉयस इसका ब्रांड का नेम कलर सब जो सो देखो आप जो सो जो भी अपने ब्रांड में जाके देखेंगे तो यहाँ पे देखो ड्रेस इन लोग का एक ही रहता पूरा राइट ब्लैक और जो सो टॉप जो सो नॉर्मल ऑरेंज कलर रहता है ठीक है जी सर ये देखो आप एग्जाम्पल ठीक है सो ब्लैक विथ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑरेंज जो सो इन लोग का ड्रेसअप रहता मतलब ये ब्रांड है अब इसके लिए जो भी आप यहाँ अंदर देख रहे हैं ना ये पूरे डैंगलर्स बोल के देख रहे थे ये भी आपको ऑरेंज कलर रहेंगे ऑरेंज विद ब्लैक कलर कॉम्बिनेशन इसके अंदर या लेके ये ये लोग कुछ भी अगर फुट स्टेप बनाएंगे या तो कोई ऐसा बैनर बनाएंगे या ब्रोचे बनाएंगे या आपको जो सो कैरी बैग देंगे वो सारे जो सो एक ही कलर में डिज़ाइन होते हैं यहाँ देखो ये बैनर है ये बैनर का कलर क्या है सेम है कोई चेंज नहीं है यहाँ पर ओके तो कभी भी एक ब्रांड जो सो जब बनता तो उसके लिए कुछ चीज़ें जो रेडी होती वो ब्रांड के हिसाब से तो जिसको हम बोलेंगे मॉकअप डिजाइंस व्हाट इज व्हाट इज मॉकअप डिजाइंस अब ये देखो यहाँ पे इसमें जो सो ब्राउचर्स ओके आ, कुछ डिजाइंस रहेंगे यहाँ पे आपको एनवेलप्स रहेंगे ओके ब्राउचर्स रहेंगे लेटरेट रहेंगे आपको ओके ये सब कैटेगरी आ जाएंगे इसमें और कुछ ब्रांड्स में खाली कलर का इस्तेमाल होता कुछ ब्रांड में पैटर्न का इस्तेमाल होता वट इज इट फर्स्ट means some designs you will be having colors and some design you will be having a patterns like this for every design you will be having okay so you will be having this type of patterns and designs in this one right now they are using the color and as well as some pattern now you can you can come here and you can see this one what is it? again with the combination of color and some pattern see everywhere you will see the same pattern even letterhead id card cd covers okay brochures T-shirts, okay, carry bags, pen drive, lighters, caps, everything. Whatever it is used in this one, it has been used. Now you will see, you will see that uh, small question you will ask. It will come in the in your mind. Why this, sir? Why this cap? Nobody use caps in the shopping malls. Have you seen it anywhere? 
जोमैटो 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 देखते हैं सर तो वाले क्या करते हैं क्या पहनते हैं वो लोग डिफरेंट ब्रांड्स डिफरेंट पर्पस दे यूज दिस व्हाट इट कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ थिंग्स सम ब्रांड डजेंट हैव दिस कैप्स सम सम ब्रांड डजेंट हैव दिस व्हाट वी से कप्स पेंसिल्स ओके समथिंग व्हिच इज नॉट फॉर देम एक्चुअली बट व्हाट इज नीडेड फॉर दैट ब्रांड एवरीथिंग कैन बी क्रिएटेड हियर नाउ इज इट ओके ऑल ऑफ यू either it can be a design or it can be a uh, what do we say color combination third one sometime only logo no other things only logo part now example we can see this logo over here now this is pattern and this one now example one more option is there let me show one what can you see this option combination of color and only logo okay now we can see here no combination only just logo Is it okay? Yes, sir. So this is your mock-up options. Whenever we are designing anything, you should be uh, so you should be aware of this one. What uh, brand is needed and what colors? I mean, sometimes uh, so people will uh, so means uh, design their own brand, and sometimes graphic designer has to design the brand and he has he has to give. Actual as uh, first of all, you have to uh, understand the concept. Second one. what are the things needed we have to explain the uh, so the party to so to whom we are creating it what what things are needed for that brand and what they are what they are doing with the brand actually that also we should know initially before starting this branding first of all what is the product second one uh, for which uh, category of uh, so what is it people it is needed nothing but customer we can say okay and third one uh, the color combination if we are decided any color combination or else according to the theme we need to take it okay so those all things you have to keep in in your, in your mind what what things are needed before starting the branding after this one as uh, now sometime we create with us with the logo sometime with years we create this with the color brand or else sometime with the abstract also abstract in the sense this design is called as abstract is it clear all of you yes sir yes, now this is separately each and everything is created separately no uh, in one uh, one image they will not create everything they will create separately finally they will bring and they will organize in this one and this is called as mock up design that's it we have to create separately even envelope has to be create separately and this has to create separately this also create separately over here yes is it clear this point yes sir Yes, sir. Now in this one, few things I'll create. It one is one is envelope I'll create, one letter head I'll create, one cup or pencil I'll create. But techniques is same. There is no change in the techniques and all. Right click and let's say copy image. Come back in this in this one and paste it here now. Right now, this is uh, example I've taken from here. Now one one by one I'll create this one and what sizes are needed according to that we I'll go with the sizes also. Right now. I am taking the first page for the letter head actually. Letter head, if I want to design it before letter head designing, we need to design whether you want logo or we want uh, what is this? What is this? Apne letter head or anything which we want to design it. Uh, abstract design you want. So right now we have created one logo already. What is the logo name? Okay, now this is the brand uh, which I have taken. Now in this one, two color combination I have taken. One is what orange color and blue color. let me take this one one second now i want to make it little bit darker color so why because it is not looking good darker color will look good but here we don't have dark color here this color i want it so use your eye dropper tool to pick the color now okay now second one blue color combination is not there in the dress but even though we have used for some combination let's see select this one and apply this color and any other place if you want to use you can use this one say come back here in this one double click and set this as a dark color combination i uh, because i want a little bit darker color so that it should be clearly visible now let me see delete and see yes what i'll do i'll select this one double click on this and use your eye dropper tool and pick the color from this now what happened
okay accept it now dark color i have given instead of this uh, what is it blue uh, black color i'll give it little darker color here now this one so take this one and one minute let me see this one with the blue color sorry outline color we need to take double click use your eyedropper and pick the dark blue color okay. is it okay all of you now this one right now this third one i want to decrease the thickness right now it is four i'll make it around two 1.5 why because it will look nice some minor changes i am making finally now now this one let's see whether we have bolt option no right now it is 170 this is okay let me go with the other option also let's delete this one and two let me so which one is looking good good this one or this one not don't about don't go about the text only this color combination with the circle this one or this one which is looking good anyone hello yes sir कौन सा अच्छा दिख रहा है सर सर फिर से बताइए सर ये देख लो ये एक है और ये एक है ये वाला अच्छा दिख रहा है सर ये वाला या ये वाला हाँ कलर ये अच्छा दिख रहा है सर ये वाला पैट एमएम अच्छा दिख रहा है नहीं नहीं एमएम नहीं ये खाली अब ये देखो खाली only this design ये वाला अच्छा दिख रहा है three lines हाँ सेकेंड वन सर हाँ सर ये वाला नहीं सर हाँ ये वाला हाँ दिस वन दिस वन इज लुकिंग गुड यस सर फरहान सर फर्स्ट वाला जो है ना उसमें अगर हम एक थोड़ी सी चेंजेस करेंगे ये वाला नहीं जो सेंटर का एम है उसको स्लाइड के अगर हम नीचे लें थोड़ा सा यानी कि उसका हाफ पार्ट नीचे ले लें तो कैसा लगेगा देख लेंगे हाथ में अपने ये बिल्कुल सीक्वेंस में है ना हाँ वही नहीं सॉफ्टवेयर अपने हाथ में है तो हम चेंज कर सकते हैं इसको जी जी मालूम नहीं कैसा दिखने लगे लेकिन एक बार देख लेंगे एक मिनट राइट जीरो अप डाउन नाउ इतना काफी जी सर। वन मिनट। इसको मूव करेंगे थोड़ा। मेरे एक और एक है थोड़ा मेरे मेरे उसमें चेंजेस। वो भी देखेंगे एक बार। अभी? अगर नॉर्मल करके बताऊँ तो नॉर्मल करके बता दूँ। अभी क्या चेंजेस कर रहे हैं सर आप मैंने देखा है। नहीं अभी चेंजेस कुछ नहीं किया मैं। खाली ये जो सब सेंटर में ला लिया नीचे ला लिया थोड़ा उतने नीचे बोले थे ना तो नीचे ला लिया था जीरो ये ओरिजिनल है ये आपका मॉडिफाइड है विच वन इज लुकिंग गुड मॉडिफाइड का अच्छा है सर अच्छा फॉर ये मॉडिफाइड वन ये वाला जी सर राशेकर, which one is modified? Modified, okay. Yes. कौन? जी सर. कौन सा अच्छा दिख रहा है? अच्छा दिख रहा है. Modified करें सर अच्छा दिख रहा है. चलो ठीक है. यही रखेंगे. और एक छोटा changes मेरे को जो मैं 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 ही सोचा था ना वो एक changes बता रहा हूँ मैं. मुझे जो मतलब इसके अंदर जो सो जो implement करना है. ये ट्राई करेंगे एक बार इफ इट इज इफ इट इज गुड लेट्स सी आई मेकिंग अ कंप्लीट लोगो ओके नाउ आई वांट टू मूव दिस आउटसाइड फर्स्ट लेट मी ब्रिंग दिस ऑन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट 
make a copy okay now this one let's fill the color on this top fill ya to isko nikal dena hai mujhe okay this two i am combining this one so unite combine but combining one second one second not combined weld option okay let's put this one over here in this let me bring this two in front give this outline outline with a dash line kuch changes acha dikh raha ya ye acha dikh raha choose can changes karke dekhna cha raha tha one second let me decrease the size चेंजेस अच्छा दिख रहा नहीं दिस वन इज लुकिंग गुड मुझे यही पसंद आया द चेंजेस विच आई वॉन्ट इट इज नॉट रिफ्लेक्टिंग लाइक दैट सो आई डिलीट दिस सो दिस इज ओके ऑल ऑफ यू राइट सो विल विल सेट दिस विद दिस वन एंड सेकेंड कॉम्बिनेशन इज दिस ओके एंड थर्ड कॉम्बिनेशन इज दिस वन अभी ये तीनों वन सेकेंड लेट मी डिलीट दिस layers let me take this example from here Yeah, guys. So three options I am having: one, two, and three. Okay, you have seen uh, so what we have done right now. We have designed a logo yesterday. That same thing I am continuing with this one. I am not changing anything. Now with this one, what I want, I want uh, this. What is it? First of all, this circles. What we have. This I want to make it as abstract. What I want? Circles as my abstract design. okay and second one the color combination which uh, which i have given here that is little darker color okay so i have given this dark color for this one so what i'll do i'll take this abstract i'll make a copy one second what happened group banaya tha maine one minute let me take this yeah this is the group now i want to use this as a abstract in my design now is it clear all of you second this is the uh, not this one let's take this logo this is looking better from all so use control g and make a copy of this one also so how many how many things i am taking over there two things okay now these two things i want it in this one now what i will do simply select this one over here and cut from here and come back on this canvas and paste it here that's it and save this logo and close it right now first of all i want this as abstract okay now select this one one minute yeah 
select this one and I want this as abstract now. First of all, what I said, I want to create a letter head now. So right now I've taken uh, what's it A4 earlier uh, seen earlier period. This letter head was created in letter right? because the executive bond will uh, bond paper we used to come in. What is this letter now? Nowadays, I don't know. I have not seen any letter head after that. So maximum some people are there. They are using A4 size paper also. I'm taking the same A4. I want vertical in this one. Now I want to give this design into the background for this now, like this. Now example, you see letter head. Where is this letter head over here? You see over in the bottom and the top, we are having the same as uh, designs here now. Small size and big size. Let's take the same example. Okay, now what I'll do, I'll make a copy. Little size decrease. Okay, one second, make a one more copy on this one. Little make it, make it more small design. And see here, whenever we are designing and whenever we are modifying, it is not modifying the uh, what's it, outline. Okay, now whenever you are doing any modification, it is not changing anything as in this one. Now, what we have to do? Any suggestion how to modify this? Okay. Outlines modify as a current for keeping this one scale and object. Now, one second, undo this first. Let me put this option scale with the object. What happened? The outline is going to scale according to the object size. Now, without this, I am making one copy. See, copy now, make it a small size. I am keeping the original and the modified one. See, this is this is I have selected. Use the option called object and scale and decrease the size. Almost all same size. Can you see? Yes, sir. Difference. Now, whenever you are scaling, if you don't want this stroke uh, should in, uh, stay in same size, we can manipulate like this. Okay, one more I'm taking, I'm keeping over here. Okay, one more, I'll keep it on this side, which we should overlap a little bit. Sir, Scale with object. This is stroke, stroke property. Okay, so right now I have taken this one. Okay, now example, we copy this one. Okay, I'll keep it on the top, this one. Okay, keep it on the top. Just rotate it a little bit. Click again and put this one again back in the top section. Okay, I want the design should be like this in the bottom. One second, let me keep this little outside. Let us bring this one over here, it should overlap like this and this one should overlap in this way. Select and put this one little down as uh, so it means the corner should uh, should be seen over here. Now. One minute. Let me keep here only so it should be visible like this now. Right now let us move this little down all these objects. Okay. Now this is what abstract I am having. This is one more abstract on the top now. Okay, so what I'll do, this is a one pattern design which I'm going to make it and small portion I want as a rectangle in the bottom where I'm going to write some uh, address or some logo or something I want to keep it in the bottom now. Let's take the color. Right now we have not, we don't have the color. Use your eyedropper tool, zoom and pick the color now. First one, again use eyedropper. Why? Because we are going to use the same combination here now zoom and pick the color use your eyedropper and pick the easy colors now third one that is dark gray color this complementary i am going to use this black color actually that is gray color one let me bring this uh, on this canvas select this one and apply say let's say blue color in the bottom now no outlines only fill color and the size of this uh, so document is how much 290 uh, two, sorry 210s with same select this one and make it 210 as width now okay and now height should be around 10 so remove this length and make it around 10 as height here now okay now come back and link it and go to the alignment and see the first of all send into the bottom and horizontal center that's it now this one has to go back side now order back of the page Okay, but the outline is no more, no more visible. But if you want to, uh, so if you don't want anything should be visible, you can simply send this one into front. What happened? The object will not be visible in the front of frame. Okay. 
but let me move this little up now right, because I don't I have not planned that one let's plan like this right now now what I want to write here I want to write one address and website address and this one now. make it little bit more higher make it 15 now remove the link now first 10 sorry select this remove the link and make it 15 that's it okay align in bottom alignment in the bottom so it will go down exactly in the bottom now link it now what we want I as I need an address first let me grab the address maybe again searching will take more time Text, uh, take the text box and paste it inside this one. Is it pasted or not? Yes. One second. keep the stop uh, full stop over here okay this is the address which I wanted now next one I need uh, I don't need anything over here but separately I'll write one thing that is website address in this one now so first of all place it over here and change the color to white text color zoom and the size I need to decide what size I uh, am having right now 12 make it around 10 okay let me increase the size uh, because I want in one line this address decrease the height zoom and present this in center now horizontal center and move this little bit down here now otherwise if I want I can write the same address there so what is the website address in the same double click go to the end section enter www dot okay now let's take this one and keep it in center now alignment this alignment is different and text alignment is different text alignment center now can you see I want little bit gap in this now go to the text properties increase the gap here around 120 one minute I'll take points here now. Points will be more easy. not working one minute let me copy this all okay just click and drag the box first paste it let me change the color first let me apply some spacing in this now. okay you can see some distance it is maintaining make it around 50 so that you can see directly how much distance it is covering it is not working here 
Okay, let me take this one and make it 20 and see. Still it is not working. So delete this box, take this one, increase the width so it will go up, select this one, decrease and increase the gap in between. What happened? Achha, sorry, one second, it is not, uh, it's not mistake because after space we have to give it. Okay, after space let's make it 10, we will get a gap here, maybe 100 and percentage value we will see, 89 make it 100. Now 150 for this one because it will give you a gap after the paragraph because after using enter button it will become a paragraph not as text anymore. Okay, present this one and keep it on the top and make it as white color and alignment has to be done in center normal uh, alignment horizontal center now is it okay this one yes sir yes sir yes sir okay what i am doing right now i am taking this fill ho, color ho good night yes yeah, sir me cut sorry sir See here now this uh, this is going to be abstract now for me right now I want I'm taking one box here now for the outline see here carefully can you see this outlines outside the outside the document yes sir okay I don't want that outside the uh, outside this information okay what I'll do I'll select this one and give the size how much is the size 210 mm remove this one 297 297 is the height 297 and 210 for oh, one second what is this right select this 210 as width and 297 as height okay what I want now this all objects one second keep uh, take, keep this logo in the center okay right now i'm keeping this outside i'll make it a group now this is also group yes decrease the size a little bit okay keep it in center and decrease the opacity for this one so decreasing the opacity come to the object mode transparency okay make it transparency around uh, the transparency for this now single transparency and we have to decrease it now. right now I have clicked only this first option in this one right now it is uh, some value it is showing we can decrease this now 50% it is showing make it more or less now so. now around 80 to 85% and place uh, place it in center now it should, it should go like this in the letter head now is it okay all of you now finally this I am going to place before this uh, placing this one use ctrl G to group it select this one and select this one so first first one select this object menu power clip place inside the frame this is like clip mask only what we have learned in illustrator clip mask photoshop clip mask <coughs> same thing here now now place this one in the center Pre press P key that is enough and no outlines are needed for this one so I am removing the outline can you see all of you what happened one second yes sir one object is not visible here i'll release this one first of all open it how to open it go to the object menu power clip and here is the option called edit power clip now select this one right now we can go and we can select this okay one second let me select this only this objects Okay, ungroup we have to make it so right click on this one for ungrouping you can ungroup or else editing label is not there ungroup all okay bring this in center now select this one and alignment and center first uh, because this text also gone into the left side now align in center and now same this one one two and three objects 
should come little left side now, uh, right side now. Why? Because it is not visible actually. I want slightly should be visible in this one now. What happened? One second. Oh. One minute because I have ungrouped it, so it has also ungrouped. Okay, let me move this in center. Okay, select this all objects and group this one and move it inside now. Because I want that abstract should be visible over here, now, this one. So select this one, again, come back here, you can click to exit it, finish it. Otherwise, you go to the object menu, power clip and say finish editing level now. Can you see all of you? Yes, sir. But one, one, one more is there, that is logo, it came, it did not came center. So this same option, what we have edited, now here is this editing option, edit, select this logo and control G to group and present it in center now now any other part this object again came in totally right side one second let me select this all and move it towards right side guys why because it is totally came in center because of some reason it came in center let me move outside yeah this is okay now finally group this one again and go and close this editing now see can you see yeah, all of you? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Okay, so what is this option we have created? Letterhead we have created for this now. Now under this power clip, what happened? The outside portion is no more visible here. So what brand we have created? One, uh, so one brand, brand product we have created, that is Letterhead now. Similarly, if you want to create any other brand, like example, if you want to create a cup now, how to create it now? Okay, now go to the other document, take the second page. Can you see this option here, icon? Yeah. Can you see this icon over here in the bottom? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Click this icon to take the second page. And what size is needed over here? You can take the size. And second one, whenever you are doing this one. Now, example, my orientation, if I am changing now, this one. What happened to the first page also? It got changed. So, make it again uh, so vertical. Why? Because I don't want to change. But the second page, I want this one uh, should have horizontal here. Now. What I'll do, I'll go to the layout option. One second, page uh, switch uh, orientation. Now one second, see here now. Orientation, if I change again, what happened again? It got changed. So from here or from there, if you are changing, it is affecting the complete document rather than affecting the only one document. Now go to this layout option. Now page layout. Okay, now in this one, let's take it full page. One minute. Okay, landscape mode and click OK now. See, this is landscape mode. Again, this also got changed. One second. One minute. Now switch orientation, page orientation is there. Switch it from here now. Again, here also it got changed. One option is there. Now let me check this option. Yeah, now it's here, here you see, insert pages. If I'm taking this landscape mode, see what happened now, before or after where we want it. Now see this one, right now, this is portrait mode, I'm deleting this now. And first page you see, it is portrait only, there is no difference here, but in the second page we have landscape mode. How we are taking this one? While inserting it, you can change the orientation of this one. Okay, but if you are using the other option, what happened? If you are changing the first one, second one also will get changed clearly uh, try to keep in your mind this one now so let's create uh, create this one what and what i want to create it cup oh let me grab this information only this information i want it just press enter to cut this one now. so let me keep this one right now i'm not taking any sizes particular sizes but if you want you can take the sizes also let me create this one okay take this visa tool visa tool first point here second point third point fourth and close it starting point done what we need to do 
select this all edges and use this option smooth select this pointer and drag it and drop it here and move this pointer zoom now can you see all, all of you select this one why because we are having some handles over here that handles we need to modify it select these handles and drag it towards right side now okay and drag towards left side now. from both side i'm dragging it is it okay all of you first point same second point also select it otherwise directly we can do this one now drag this point down in the same level till here and same one this one also we need to drag it sorry drag this point over here now that's it but what happened when we are moving down it is coming down now so adjust this one little bit up now is it okay yes, first point sir. now select this yes, select this uh, what is it line from here and move it outside one second select this outline and move it outside first now what we what we need next one we need the same thing but one second let me take the rectangle again draw the rectangle from this side only same adjust the width of this object now see the width of this one now it is round again in the top but here we don't have any roundness here now what what we need if you keep flat nothing will happen why because back side portion is no more visible but on the top we need some movement here now select this one convert to curves select this pointer over here select this point and use the option curve sorry curve and drag it up a little bit little bit up we want it now and select this handle and move it towards right side now for giving a more depth in this one now i am not moving up little bit uh, means i am not moving more depth in this one slightly depth i am giving for making this balance of roundness here now clear all of you now for this one also select this one little bit uh, depth i want to give it here in the round so it should look like little rail now okay let me done now this one let's select first of all i'll apply the orange color uh, not orange let's say blue color and outside portion should be orange color now select and apply orange color what happened this is coming in front right click order and send it back of the page can you see yes sir what we need next now so it is not uh, means uh, what do we say one minute the bottom one is not looking good roundness here now i'll move it little left towards the right side little bit more depth more depth on the left side now is it okay this point yes sir now i want to apply some gradient color why because we don't have any reflection over here now so for reflection what i'm doing selecting this one now go to the gradient option gradient option in the sense come to the object properties select this fill option and select the second option as gradient now what we need we need to apply the third point here now i'm adding one point here on the double click you can you can add the point now select the last point and click here and choose this color and pick the color from the object here now can you see some reflections are there over here now yes sir same one i need to apply same for the blue color also what we need to do come to the gradients now select this first and double click on this over here now now what we need to do we need to apply dark color on this right side now select eye dropper and pick the same dark color from here now see some reflection inside this one we want more compressed uh, reflection we can say only small line i want it now what i'll do select this third point make it little white color for this one one second white if you make it white white if you make it what happen the reflection will come more higher now is it okay all of you yes sir next one yes. next one is what right now the position of this one this gradient position it is exactly same i want slightly right side or left side now what i can do simply i can move this point over here now see is it clear yes sir okay so now this is outlines i am having let's remove the outlines now so to look nice okay now sec uh, se uh, one more option is there now if you see some depth will be having inside this one now. what i'll do for the depth so right now i don't want this bottom object 
So what I'll do, select this, make a copy and paste it on this canvas. Select these two objects, one and two, and use the option called Pathfinder, front minus now. One second, back minus. What happened? Oh, sorry, one minute. <laughs> select this one and move it down. One second, sorry guys, one second. Select this object and this object, remove this option, it will be done. Now I can see this object now. Can you see this small piece? Okay, what yes, I'm doing here now, simply I'm taking this more darker color for this one. Again, reflection should be there, but it should have more darker color. Go to the color option and make it more darker on this now. You can see some dark area. And similarly for this also, click here. If you want same exact color, just pick the color from here, that's it. It is not looking darker, so we move it down. So we are having a more darker color. And this area is more uh, compressed here. One second, select it. Right, it is done. Now what we need next now, I need to decrease this one now. Select this one and decrease the edge here now. second let me see some gradients are missing here here it is okay but little up moment we need to do little up it should have a small reflect uh, so what is it corner should be reflected here now on this one similarly what i'll do i'll give it a little round effect for this now so select this object right now move it little down one second Move it little down. Why? Because I want little roundness to be given over here. Now. That's it. Same also on this side also. We need to drag it little down and right side now. One second. Let's move down and move it a little bit. Yeah, guys. Okay, some reflection which is giving a depth on this one that uh, that we can see over here. Now. And one more reflection we are having, one minute, what happened to the other object, gone. Mm -hmm. I need to create one more object guys, select this one and select this one, one minute. Select these two and make a copy, delete this object. What I want, opposite direction, what we have to do for opposite direction? What we have to do guys? Anyhow, I don't want any depth in this one, bottom portion. Select this one and move it flip, vert flip vertical and place this one in the back side. Now. That's it. But again, we don't have any depth inside this one. So we don't need this top object. Only we need bottom object. Let me grab some depth in this one. Right. So what, what we need next, right click, object mode and send to the back. Let me move up a little bit. And select this one and apply the green color. One second, what happened this one? One second guys. We have to get this one into front. So control page up, so get into the front. Now I can see this both object. Now this one I need to give a gradient color. Select this one and select this point and keep it in center. If you want exact position for this one, you can move the position one second. Yeah, 50% exactly. Now apply this, select this one and click here. Use your eyedropper, pick the dark color and select this one and select this as white color white color we can take it from the canvas itself is it okay first point is this one yes sir okay yes, sir. now uh, we need to create a handle here now take the bezel tool again now create this handle but i want right side now so i'll keep it here first point second third fourth point again fifth one and close it at starting point select this all and use this smoothness Place it and move it. 
okay drag this one outside little bit okay finally one option we need to do was what is it this is it a straight line or not we need to find it now select this object and apply the color on this one sorry and we need some modification to be done on this one let's see zoom and first i don't need outline so remove this outline can you see this both are exactly same but we need some smoothness to be applied on this one why because it is looking sharp here now select these two lines and make it smoothness here now for applying the best smoothness on this one is it okay Yes, sir. yes sir. Okay, and keep it on the right side. But I want this side, this direction now. What I have to do? Flip horizontal here. Now. But again, we need some reflection. But reflection, if you apply now, it will create light problem over here. One minute, guys. Maybe some background is there. Okay, here, nothing is there. Okay, done. Maybe some size difference is there. that's done now uh, one more thing we are we need to apply some reflection we need to give here now now how to give reflection now simple option drag and drop it here now now what we do we apply white color on this one and present it on this area now. what happened it is giving a white color for me okay so what I do select this option move it up slightly move it down here now. okay and similarly uh, so on this point also slightly move up a little bit and this one should be down a little bit and move this point outside or inside anywhere so either we can move both side now okay now keep this one in the center of this still it's not good decrease the width so it will come in center let's apply this one select this one but right now it is not perfect but we need to make it perfect uh, roundness here so first of all i have applied this one again go to the gradient now now we are having white color over here one more point i am adding in the middle that is same white color again it should be 50 percent now select this and select option and take this and apply the orange color on this one. maybe so it will not apply perfectly let's see how it will how it is going to work now select this last point and click again and apply the orange color for this one. So see it is not giving the exact same pass placement for me what i'll do little position i'll mass i'll change it now one second move this position little right side and left side see some more reflection maybe it will give or not The problem is there it is not giving the exact position for me what I wanted actually so what I'll do I'll come back to the solid color only solid color with white what we need next another option is there that we can apply now that is what uh, means bitmap blur right now it is not available so we need to convert into bitmap whenever you are doing this one try to convert it now go to the blur option and say Gaussian blur little decrease of opacity this is this is your second option now how you need to apply this one let me see I'll decrease the opacity for this one right now in the transparency level we'll apply this one okay how much you want you can increase and decrease how much you need it can you see all of you yes sir second option is there what is the second option we have applied this reflection over here now. this is the reflection we have applied now see this difference now okay more white if you want you can give more white now automatically when you decrease the blur option automatically it will change the value and it will apply it blur option which i have applied little less you can apply is it clear all of you this point and once again what we need we need a logo on this one now so just move this outside select this and group it Control g and keep it in center now let me get the logo on this one now select okay and already it is grouped i think yeah grouped select it zoom 
decrease the uh, so you size using shift button again one problem is there with the color combination uh, because the color combination which will not match this one okay let me see one option is it aired or not one second I'm taking this smoothness why because I want to give a little depth in this one so it should look like a round one it should not look like flat one that's it is it okay yes sir okay, let me move this up a little bit right but you have to maintain this little bit more to look good. Now, if you move here, the text will move but it will not look nice at all. Let me see. Yeah, this is also looking good. Yeah, yes, done. Right, okay, all of you. So, what is this option? Yes, what is this option? Okay, so what, what's one one of the uh, again some brand uh, brand option which we have created? Brand or a mock up we'll give it now. Mock up design. Okay, so let's create it and desktop and save it. Is it clear all of you this point? So two we have created in this one and other options are very easy. Envelope is there. Uh, so what is it? spiral banding we are having? How to create this spiral banding? Can you ask anyone? Spiral banding and how to create this one? Anyone please? Yeah. No one? No example you see first. Right now I'm creating this one. Make a small copy, reduce the size, decrease the width, and keep it on the top of the object. What we need now if you can see right now in spiral, what we have now in this spiral, you can see a small piece of uh, budget hole is there in this one. Same thing we have kept here now. If I want to make it a spa, what is it, hole inside this one, what we need to do? How to apply these multiple pieces? Can anyone tell me? Anyone? Drag and drop left, right, mm -hmm. right key. Uske baad control D, sir. Very good. Any Anyone else? anyone so I'm keeping this uh, what is this relative option so right now it is showing zero zero I want it little down here now example I'll make it around 20 mm and let me make his copies now where it, where it has gone in the top position okay so let me make it around 1 mm and minus value here now minus 1 where it where it will come in the bottom now can you see 1 mm is not good enough undo make it around 5 mm let's see how many pieces we want but not uh, so 5 mm let me make it around 10 mm of gap now 
how many pieces we need 10 let's see it is coming out so we need 8 mm is it okay one more copy we need it so make it around 11 now done all of you is it done yes sir what what else we need right now example if i have applied some color on this one let's take it same color now let's take this all and what we do select this one and use use the option called unite and select this back side portion and use the option front minus now is it done spiral binding what we, what we need next we need spires what's it round uh, so this one what i'll do i'll take this small rectangle here now let's apply some color let's take it little light color gray no outlines a little more darker color i'll take it so that easily you can see and go to the object properties okay take the gradient option in this one and go with the vertical option so let me select one more point in the middle okay select this point i drop a tool and pick the color from the same here or here anywhere okay we need rotation for this one now there is a rotation option let's see let's click outside now can you see the rotation here now one minute rotation here make it around 90 degrees now can you see all of you let me apply some dark color guys one second maybe it, is, it is not visible for you let me apply orange color only so that you can see select eyedropper pick the same color from here is it okay yes sir yes. now what we'll do we'll keep it this one over here little small size okay this will go little depth in this one make one more copy over here now and these are the two pieces now select these two move it up in this top direction we have to make the same copies here now so now group this one control g come back to the transformation what is the value and just say apply that's it is it okay yes spiral sir banding, spiral banding so is it same any changes yahan pe dekho ek line dikh raha hai par chota Yes, sir. if i don't uh, if i don't dare uh, so what's it make uh, this one one more copy i want to i want to keep it here on this one so undo this simple option select this individual piece okay and right click again sorry first duplicate copy then break this one ungroup this object only not this one it is group only only one object i have ungrouped it how much rotation we want 90 degrees sorry 90 degrees small size depth should be decreased and place this one over here now okay and now same uh, same over here area if if you want it here also you can place it here also one second let me keep this one over here But generally it will not be available here but you can see here if you want it you can keep it let move this one right side little bit gap if you want to give little gap you can give it here and one more thing is there if you want any round portion over here now rounds around side now we can make it round side uh, what we have to do we need to add one point here and we can make it round so it will become normal this one now let me apply solid color for this one not this one sorry Okay, let me make it one small option let's take it make it smooth and just move it a little bit left and what it, what it has to what it has to it has to do just go and apply this one right click arrange 
and send back. One second, we need to cut this one. One second, I'll do one thing. I'll keep it as it is. And the middle portion, if you want to cut, you can cut the middle portion now. What I'll do, I'll take the rectangle, make it zero zero points for this flat object, apply this, place it inside this one. For decreasing, I'm saying, for giving it uh, so what's a nice look and feel, I'm doing this now. Just move it towards right side. Okay, select this two and use the option, this one. More if you want, you can apply more also. It will look as uh, a simple round little round here now. This one. Make a selection, move it right side more. Let me remove. Done now. Let me keep this one. Select this all and group this one and use the option already we are having. Just make it like this. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So what is this option? Spiral binding book. And again, what we need, last one, we need a logo. I'm deleting this all. We need logo. And what else we need? Already it is there, but it is modified one. Let me take the logo from here. But it is grouped, so we have to capture from other area. But I have, I have deleted by mistake. But if you want, you can keep the uh, what is it, group and you can uh, apply the abstract on this one. Now. Is it okay, all of you? But if you don't want to bring from outside, what we have to do? Select this object, open this power clip, select this objects from here, first one, and select this logo also. Maybe this is group, yeah, copy it. Now come out of from this and come back on this canvas, paste it here, now see. Without any modification, I have done that. Let's select this one and apply P key and let's take this abstract. Let me apply some dark color guys. Not this one, sorry. Yeah. Oh. Okay, this is okay. One second, let me apply some light color. Yeah, this is looking good, but not perfect. One minute. Control G group. This also. Make it in center. Select this one. Keep it in center. If you want to apply single color, you can apply single color for this. So it will be clearly visible for you. Okay. Now if you want, you can decrease more opacity for this one. Let's bring this all objects. Okay. Decrease the size. But before decreasing the size, scaling should be uh, scaling should be seen. Uh, go to the ob one second. Where is this option? Object properties. Come back to the edges and apply the scaling option for this now. Okay, this side also of this object and similarly on the top also if you want to apply you can apply but only one side is enough but I don't want the outside portion what we have to do we have to apply the uh, what is it power clip option right all of you yes, sir. right so now this is what we see one minute I'll take one power clip so that you can see drag this one from the outside portion from here and drag it to the object corner then use this and move it outside select this all and group it control g select this object mode power clip place inside the frame just click on this one with the arrow that's it the outside portion is no more visible now one minute what happened edit power clip select this object maybe the power clip option Maybe it has moved right side, it has moved left side. Just move it a little bit right. Yeah, done. 
okay there is no more outside portion is visible on this one is it okay all of you so three yes, option i have shown you one is uh, what is that letter head second one is uh, one item uh, it can be object and third one is your spiral banding Okay, no outlines for this. Remove this outline. It look nice, right? Just I am closing this one. So how many three sections we have completed? Next. Uh